To God be the glory, and welcome to this, your real illuminating moment. I'm O.W. Prince. Praise the Lord. I welcome all of you to this, your real illuminating moment. I'm pleased to be with you today, and I'm quite excited about what the Lord has revealed to us through His Holy Spirit. Please listen carefully as I try to be as extemporaneous, genuine, authentic, and plain and straightforward as the Holy Spirit has guided me to be. I endeavor to be real with us today. Let's begin with some scriptures that you are already familiar with. And I'm not going to name them per se because I'm not basing what I'm saying on scriptures, but I'm basing what I'm saying on the revelation of the Holy Spirit. The scriptures tell us that the letter killeth. I know many of you have heard this, right? The letter killeth, but grace and truth comes through the Lord Jesus Christ, the anointed one from Father Yahweh. Yet today's believers are taught that their faith should be grounded in the written word of God. They are referring to their Christian translated interpreted versions of scriptures that they call the Bible. But I read somewhere that the Lord said that you search the scriptures for in them you hope to gain eternal life, but they point to me. And I also read somewhere that Yehoshua, the one that Christians call Jesus, told his apostles that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one may enter heaven or approach God the Father and inherit eternal life except they come by him, except they worship the Father as he does, except they come in spirit and in truth, in obedience unto death. See, the Lord said that unless we die to our earthly birth and of transgressing the Father's law, we will perish. He never indicated that anyone should ground their faith in the written word of scripture. To the contrary, the Lord always drew the attention away from what was actually written in scripture to himself, the anointed one from Father Yahweh, who is the living word of God. As we can see in Matthew 5, especially after the 20th verse, Jesus, Yehoshua HaMashiach, breaks down their written text into spiritual truth upon which God will judge the sins of mankind. He says in Matthew 5, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you should not murder or whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says, you fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Now remember, the living word of God is speaking here. Not scripture, but the living word of God. Jesus illuminated and enlarged the understanding of the sixth commandment as well as other commandments to include emotional assassination and the intent of the heart. Jesus demonstrated and revealed that the spirit of an action defines that action and not a book or an interpretation of scripture. He demonstrated that spiritual revelation is superior and more powerful than any written commandment or interpretation. Let's say that one more again. He demonstrated that spiritual revelation is superior and more powerful than any written commandment or interpretation of scripture. Please study the scriptures for yourselves. The truth is in there. And you will find that Jesus, nor the apostles of God, ever taught that believers should base their faith in God on what is translated and censored in a Bible or a book. To the contrary, we can only find evidence that we ought to base our faith on the living bread that came down from heaven, Yehoshua HaMashiach, Jesus, the anointed one from Yahweh, John 6. 51. Jesus said he is the bread of life. Whoever comes to him will never hunger and whoever believes in him will never thirst. John 6 35. The scriptures testify that it is not the word of God but the word of God is alive and that he was in the beginning with God and that he is God. John 1 
So anyone who bases their faith on a book or scripture instead of the living truth of God still needs to repent and return to the authentic faith that Jesus taught. For the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for such the Father desires to worship him. Not in a church or out of a book of scriptures or out of theological rhetoric or religion, but in the spirit of holiness with the mind of the anointed one and in the truth of the word that is alive, not written, but alive. For it is the spirit who gives life. The material world as well as human flesh are nothing. It is the words that Jesus has spoken that are spirit and that are life. And he is the living word of God. John 6, 63. I'm O.W. Prince, and this has been our real illuminating moment. And as always in parting, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver us out of them all. Life indeed hurts, but God heals. Thank you, God. To God be the glory. Keep looking up.